This week, two women have again been unafraid to call out the failures of this government to keep women safe. As Grace Chain said, it needs to be more than empty announcements, and Brittany Higgins called for a more specific action plan for ending violence against women. The staff at the Women's Cottage in Richmond have been at the front line of these issues for nearly 40 years, supporting women fleeing domestic violence and those living with the trauma of child sexual abuse. The cottage has kept services going during the pandemic, but they've now lost funding for their DV caseworker, even though the severity and intensity of the violence has increased. It's the consequence of a tricky, piecemeal approach to funding by this government. That isn't good enough, and Hawkesbury women should not have to travel hours to get help. The other major challenge is housing. No women's refuge, nor is there much emergency housing. Last election, I saw the need and committed more than a million dollars to address the problem if we won. It's my win that the government has mirrored my promise with an investment in short-term accommodation for women, children and their pets escaping violence. Our wonderful, collaborative Hawkesbury DV support community has put time, energy and ideas to make this space as practical and safe as possible. And I thank them for all the work they do, and I am so looking forward to seeing this facility open later this year.